Hey guys, it's Advanced Logic. Welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. In the last two parts, we fought Alexei, we he got killed by Zaudi itself, and it turns out he unleashed the Autophagos, which is in the sky right now, which I'm trying to show you guys. Eh, fuck it, I'm, I'll show you guys when we get on Ba'u later. And right now, we're just gonna be meeting... Well, I don't know. Yuri got stabbed by Sodio, that fucking bitch, seriously. And now, yeah, we're just with uh, Estelle... Repeat and Judy right now, and now we're gonna be meeting up with Rita here in uh, Ospio. And yes, freaking Soviet, I'm still on that. I recorded that like 12 hours ago, and that was like back at midnight, and now it's like n noon on March 12th when I'm recording this. Eureka! Bug? Oh, Rita, Yuri is. It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. Eh. <laughs> I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. <laughs> she looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. Yes, let's. Yeah, and Rita. First Zodia, now her. Nah, I'm kidding. Whatever, let's just see what what she eureka about. She eureka like crazy. We should be able to calculate the force field stability coefficient. So... Rita? We can make a key formula. Efficiency is okay. Making a stable non-dispersing piece should be... Hey, Rita! What? Don't bother me! Huh? Oh, it's you. How did you get into... Wait, you're... Hi. <laughs> Yeah. Where the hell were you? I looked all over for you, you know. Uh, sorry about that. <sighs> well, whatever. I don't have time to argue about that. I have something very important to talk to Estelle about. To Estelle? I may have found a way to control the behavior of air. Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it recombine freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. If only I hadn't given Dane Nomos back. What? Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. <laughs> that sword's different from the child of the full moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle... That was to control the power of the child of the full moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So, if everything goes right, we control the air. But if we screw up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. You mean it hasn't already? Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Damn right. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Hell no. Okay, we'll you got five minutes. Raven while you figure things out. Great. I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, let's go. Hell yeah, Rita's back in the party, and repeat. Eh, you get to stay in. Nah, fuck that. Gotta have my all-girl party. That's right, all girls. Nah, I'm kidding. Oh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was okay, we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have known he was alright if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? It's good he made it back safe and sound. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Hap! Are you happy? Ugh. Why the fuck? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Rita, I couldn't understand why you react like that, I guess. Because you don't have much interaction with pe people, I guess. But you've had enough interaction in this fucking journey to act normal. What the fuck? Whatever. Can, let's just go meet up with uh, 
Carol and Raven. I'm assuming they're at Dongress. If I remember correctly, anyway, where the hell is Dongress at? Should be somewhere over meh. So, yes. Oh, right. When I get everyone back in the party, I'm going to be doing, starting up this one side quest that I forgot to do, like, before we left for Zaudi. We could have done it before then, but I'm pretty sure we could still do it up till now, even now. So, for now, we just got to get everyone back in the party. And check it out. The autofocus is up in the sky, that little, like, stream-like thing in the air. So, yeah, we're kind of fucked now. How the hell are we going to destroy that thing? And where the hell do I go? I don't even know. Hey, <laughs> we do have to go. Oh, look. yeah, yeah, there we go. Damn it! Why did I have to do it? <laughs> do it. The Dawn's grandson, Herod, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive. How? Sorry for worrying, but I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> That's my boy. My boy. We just I gotta stop doing that. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Core! That's it! Boo? What's it? I've got it. Apatheia. It'll work if I use Apatheia. So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. <laughs> True. Oh, okay. And she's like, ah, fuck you guys. The apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Bellius's apatheia, the Cyanosia. Rita's found a way to control air. Really? Cool! She's all damn right. Do you know what happened to the Cyano CL after the Dawn died? Nope, but Harry actually might. Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. That's cool, and Carol's back in the party. So all we need is Raven, and then I'll start that one little side quest thing. It's kind of a side quest thing that has been, like, going on since... I can't even remember, like, what Tales game. But... I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, for those of you who do know... It involves weapons. You should already know by now. The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the union is falling apart. Because, because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's apathea? We'd appreciate it if you could give it to us. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. <laughs> that apathea belongs to whoever succeeds the Don. It's not given to outsiders. Hey, don't give us that fucking glare, you ungrateful bastard. What? Well, then what will they choose? when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Hey, don't act like a broody little man-child. We have enough of those in Kingdom Hearts. That boy's a real piece of work. Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? Well, that would be our guild, of course. Oh shit. Talking of whose guild? I don't know what you sent in your clouds of Dawn members to Zaude. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. I say it was imp imprudent. It could have taken as the Union's hostile blah 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 blah. I don't know. In that case, we could defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battles? The clouds of dawn? If dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys and Altos throw your hat into the ring? Maybe then we'd just see how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. It's, this isn't a joke. It's like, what the fuck are you staring at? It's alright to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Gon... The, 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 the Gon... The Don said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? <laughs> He's all, oh shit. I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. 
Why isn't that good enough for the Union? The boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even th if you aren't some big, great big leader. Blah, blah, I'm not stuttering. The Don told you that from now on you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? Maybe. You make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm going to get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Hey, you, wait up. I have a name. Dude. You're not a Kingdom Hearts character. Don't act so broody. What about the Apatheia? If you got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. What's she looking at? Hey, broody manchild! Here. <laughs> Thank you for that. Are you giving this to us? No, this is gonna be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe you just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Ah! And by Carol of all kids. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So now that we got the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophir Rift. I'm going to use the inactivated air cranny that's there. The Rift? We're just going someplace gold. We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. So fuck. And we got the Siano CL again. And Raven's back in the party. So now that we got everyone back in the party, I'm going to be doing that one thing. And here's the skit. I'm assuming it's just Raven and Carol and probably repeat. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. <laughs> guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? <laughs> oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Raven. See, that's why you're an awesome, like, character in this freaking game. Just like Yuri, I mean, come on. He kills people and... Doesn't something... I don't know. I'm tired. I'm only... I've been getting way too much... Way less sleep lately. Just because... I've been playing like Pokemon White. Freaking love that game right now. Well, I'm enjoying it anyway. Anyway, for the one weapon thing that... I'm going to show you guys right now. It's a side quest. It's for a little extra. You got to make your way here to Miorzo. And we got to make our way over here to the... Elder's house. But first, skit. It seems that the Union is still in disarray. They relied on the Dawn for too much. They're probably scared without the guy who used to decide everything for them. I think I know how they feel. Constantly worrying whether or not you're about to make some big mistake. Well, I can't understand being so afraid of messing up that you can't decide anything. Wow, I agree with you for once. The Union has to do a lot of thinking for themselves now that they're without the Dawn. Isn't that how it should be? Absolutely. Damn right it should be. Fucking undis indecisive bastards. I don't know. Sons of whores. Mm. What? Greetings, Elder. What were you grumbling about? Oh, you've returned. Look what I found when I was cleaning my dresser. Oh, he sounds so excited. You a sword in your dresser? Hey, but this is... This isn't just any old sword. It looks kind of like... You know... You know what? She means De Nomos, right? Just what kind of sword is this? I was hoping you would ask. If memory serves, it is one of the seven fell arms of legend. You mean the weapon spawned by the 14-headed monster from the fairy tales? Hmm. I don't know how the story is told below, but here the legend is as follows. At the height of the ancient Blastia civilization, an attempt was made to produce special weapons. Eventually, this led to the creation of armaments of untold power. Seven in total. So these weapons are a legacy of the ancients. Well, De Nomos is real. Maybe this story is too. Is De Nomos one of these fell arms then? I'd say it's possible if what the Elder said is true. But if this really is one of the fell arms, why was it in your dresser, Elder? 
I can't remember for the life of me. It's been decades since I've cleaned this thing out. You haven't cleaned out your dresser in decades? I don't know what to say. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> if these weapons are really as powerful as they sound, it might be a good idea for us to get a hold of them before they fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, there have been quite a few sets of wrong hands out there lately, too. Might we take this with us, Elder? Huh? Oh, fine by me. You're giving it to us just like that? To tell the truth, I'm glad it turned up. But I've been wondering what I'd do with it. I've got no real use for it. Besides, it would be a shame to just leave something like this lying around. I figure you are just the ones to put it to proper use. At least you're not telling us we're the chosen ones. Do you know anything about the other fell arms? Let me see here. According to the legend, the seven weapons share a common bond. If this is truly one of the fell arms, it may react if brought near the others. So as long as we have one, any of the others should react to it somehow? If the legends speak true... And considering this exists... Yes. Okay, got it. Thanks again, Elder. We'll take it off your hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? And now we have the weapon Abyssion. And yep, this is the equivalent. If you guys, if any of you play Tales of Symphonia, this is the equivalent of the Devil's Arms of this game. And if you guys haven't gotten the hint enough, the Abyssion is the freaking. I don't know how to say it. It's this. It's named after Abyssian of Tales of Symphonia. The same guy that I did a free run on before. So yes, now that we have this, you just gotta find the other six fell arms of this game. And this does kinda unlock, you have to gather them all up, fight a secret boss, and then uh, it unlocks their true power just like the Devil's Arms in uh, Tales of Symphonia. And just like the ones in Tales of Symphonia and any other one, uh, once you defeat an enemy, or like the attack of it depends on uh, like how many enemies you yourself have killed. Like if Yuri's killed like a thousand monsters, I guess I think it increases by a thousand. And now that we have one of the fell arms, I think we have to go to one of these, like these little rock formations. And hopefully like something activates. No, not this one. Crap. Hang on, guys. I'll, I'm gonna go look for the one uh, rock formation, and I'll point out where it, at where it's at in relation to an area. So I'll be right back. Damn it! All right. I think I'm not sure. I think I made a full circle, but we just gotta check this one over here. It's near a desier. I think it's this one. Looks like it. So hopefully this is it. Ah, uh, god damn it, man. Why not? Maybe I have to go later into the game. God damn it. I've just been wasting time then. There's something. Oh crap. Yeah. Alright then, I'm probably gonna be cutting it here then. Sorry I wasted you guys' time for the last god knows how many minutes, so yes. Maybe there's five. God damn it, I'm holding out hope. I should not be holding out hope. So yes, I'm just gonna be looking just in case and god. Damn, is it dark! Oh yeah, and like after part two of the game, uh, the weather starts changing differently. So like, there's gonna be night in some places, gonna be raining in some places. So yeah, the weather starts getting all sorts of crazy and stuff. I'm all holding out hope. Maybe it's this one. I really shouldn't do that. I don't think it's this one. Oh, uh, nah, nah, it ain't. Crap. Fine. Fine, I'll go to Zofair. I need to anyway. God damn it, let's just get this over with. So I'm just gonna make my way to the Blade Driss of Zofair, and I'll be cutting in here. So next time on Tales of Vesperia, we're gonna be figuring out Rita's formula to control air, I guess. So see you guys then.